Maxwell found the equations of electromagnetism 150 years ago, but they still hold some surprises. One of the biggest surprises for me was that only 30 years ago, physicists found a new type of solution that describes a freely propagating vortex ring, which they called a focus donut. It's like a smoke ring, but with electromagnetic waves. The problem was they didn't know how to create it. But in a new paper that just appeared, a group of physicists have shown that they can do it. Vortex rings are fascinating phenomena that we are most used to seeing in water or air. These vortex rings in water contain air bubbles, which makes them visible. Despite their fragile appearance, they are remarkably stable and can travel over long distances. It's the same phenomenon as smoke rings. And as you can see beautifully in this demonstration, these rings are constantly turning inside out. You can see how they form here in a mixture of glycerine and water. This shows a cross section from the side, which was taken using laser induced fluorescence. What happens is that the side the sides of the fluid slow down due to friction and then curl inwards basically, creating this inside-out rotation. Vortices are also often formed on airplane wings where they can create long tails, but these do not rotate inside out. Airplane vortices are also amazingly stable and can travel quite far distances. Sometimes they drag tiles off roofs or cause trouble for other airplanes. They can even connect, as you can see in this remarkable video. But for today, we'll stick with the vortex rings that turn inside out. These ring vortices are what's known as a topological feature, usually formed at the borders of regions, which is why they are closed. The nice thing about these topological features is that they are conserved, so they are very robust to noise. This is also the idea that topological quantum computing is based on, that such a quantum computer wouldn't be so susceptible to noise. You can see why vortex rings would be nice to use for communication, especially when noise might be an issue. The problem is that vortex rings in gases or fluids are usually formed by using some sort of friction. It isn't all that easy to create them for electromagnetic waves because those don't experience friction. And what good is the math if you don't know how to turn it into reality? The authors of the new paper did it by designing a special antenna that has has the shape of a cone. They call it an electromagnetic cannon, though if you prefer the technical description, it's a radially polarized conical horn antenna. And it isn't a microscopic device. It has a radius of about 25 centimeters. So it's about the size of a pizza, except if you live in the United States, where pizzas are about 10 times larger. You can see the setup here in a noise-free room. And this is the author's illustration of how the cannon creates the vortex rings. Using this cannon, they were able to generate stable electromagnetic vortices in the gigahertz range. That's about the same frequency range as a common wireless router uses. They measured the field strength at distances of 550 and 100 centimeters and found an excellent match between the theoretical expectation and the observation. Maybe I'm easily amused, but I find this absolutely fascinating. It's not just that they found something new to do with a 150 years old theory. It's also that it could have a lot of applications. And who doesn't love it when some obscure physics discovery turns out to be the next big thing? The most obvious application could be that it's a new method of information transfer. Yes, it uses the same electromagnetic radiation that we already use, but it encodes it in an entirely different way. Maybe there are other advantages to it. Some have speculated, for example, that electromagnetic vortex rings could be used to enhance the resolution of microscopes, basically because that gives you better shape control. And if none of that works, I'm pretty sure someone will find a way to make a weapon out of it.
And yes, vortex rings are closely related to vortex streets that are sequences of vortex paths which interlock with each other. They often form in the atmosphere around islands as you see in this footage. Theoretical calculations have shown that vortex streets can also exist for electromagnetic radiation. Basically, I think this is a discovery waiting for an application. It's the best of blue skies research and I'm somewhat surprised that so little has been said about it. Either I have a bad taste in research developments or the rest of the world does. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. To me, science is more than a profession. It's a way to understand the world and to solve problems. This is why I'm happy to work together with Brilliant, whose mission is to help you learn science in the easiest and most engaging way possible. All courses on Brilliant have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. I found it to be very effective to learn something new. It really gives you a feeling for what's going on and helps you build general problem-solving skills. They cover a large variety of topics in science, computer science and maths, from general scientific thinking to dedicated courses on differential equations or large language models. And they're adding new courses each month. It's a fast and easy way to learn and you can do it whenever and wherever you have the time. I even have my own course on Brilliant. That's an introduction to quantum mechanics. It'll help you understand what a wave function is and what the difference is between superpositions and entanglement. It also covers interference, the uncertainty principle and Bell's theorem. And after that, you can continue maybe with their course on quantum computing or differential equations. Sounds good? I hope it does. You can try Brilliant yourself for free if you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabina. That way you'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for full 30 days and you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go give it a try. I'm sure you won't regret it. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.